and welcome everybody here in uh, Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our second deck of our 12-hour stream today, which is going to be Simic Adapt. This is uh, one of the decks we've played quite a bit, and kind of like all these decks that, we're, that we have like lined up here for the rest of the day are, are decks that, um, that I've played quite a bit that uh, I, I enjoy playing. This is going to be a fun day today, and Simic Adapt is no different. Really what we're trying to do here is get a lot of mana as fast as we can with the help of Llanowar Elves and Incubation Druid. And with that mana, be able to play some expensive but really powerful stuff. So we're trying to ramp out to Biogenic Ooze or Vivian as early as possible and start having these cards generate value. And then uh, in the late game, have Frilled Mystic to protect them, which Vivian's really good at finding Frilled Mystic. And also just having really big Hydroid Crisis. So... That's kind of what we're doing here. We also have Hedonis Climb, which is awesome at ending games uh, early if we can get this going. And plus, Hedonis Climb is really good with Incubation Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian as well. And we're calling this Adapt because we're playing our Biomancers Familiars uh, that can uh, really increase the power of Growth Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid. So that's what, that's what we're uh, doing here. Uh, so let's see how Simic Adapt fares. Play League, Simic Adapt, where are you at? There you are. Um, I think it'll probably be the same list as last time with the Gruel Frenzy. Uh, I, I think the very last time we played Gruel Frenzy, we played a donation deck version, um, and not, not my version with Rekindling Phoenixes and Skargon Hellkites, but we're going to be playing with Phoenix and Hellkite, for sure, that that version. I don't know if there's anything. We'll kind of take a look at it at the time, but I'm not sure if there's anything I, I necessarily want to change about that version. But that's the one that we'll be playing here. Hmm. Our opponent's likely going to kill whatever I start with. Still start with the Druid. Okay, okay. Well, let's get this and this in play. They spend their turn killing Growth Chamber Guardian... It's not the biggest deal. Oh, don't block it. Because they have dive down. All right, I want to increase my mana um, a whole lot, so we're going to be adapting this Incubation Druid and playing a new Growth Chamber Guardian and adapting it as well. So I guess I guess I could have just attacked with the Biomancer's Familiar. Uh, it would have just got blocked, though. But I'm not going to be tapping it to readapt anything. If I'm playing Search and Paper, you like in a tournament, can I have the check cards in my deck and the actual card in my deck box. Yes, you can. Yep. I I wouldn't have... I, yep, that's that's how that works with the checkmark cards. I wouldn't really have the search in the same sleeves, because then you may accidentally shuffle it up and everything, so I, I wouldn't... I would put it in, like, a different color sleeve kind of thing. But, yep, that's certainly an option. Alright, so we got lots of mana now. And uh, we're just going to be outracing our opponent with these Growth Chamber Guardians. Growth Chamber Guardians just very strong. So I still have, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight mana this turn. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a pretty obvious dive down there, but that's alright. Let's get more 4-4s four out there. It's kind of difficult for our opponent to beat an army of 4-4s. Four and this is why you see why Biomass is familiar is so good. You know, spending three mana to make four fours and everything. And, you know, three mana, make a four four, draw a new four four kind of thing. Strong to quite strong. Let's get these Harpooners, Canopy, and I kind of want Melody, honestly. And get all of those things up in here. Biogenic Ooze isn't really what we're all about, I don't think. Yeah, an army of squadron crabs. <laughs> squadron crab. Hmm. Familiar was awesome that game, but I don't really expect Familiar to be awesome all the time against our opponent's deck. You know, like, they're a, a four-shock kind of deck, where I don't actually expect that kind of stuff to happen. So I kind of want to take out Familiar... Maybe I just trim Jade Lights, which is kind of weird. But yeah, maybe Jade Lights just, they go over the top of them and everything. And still keep the familiar for if that does happen again. I do like Climb. Climb, you know, lets our creatures block and everything and tussle. And I think I like Frilled Mystic. Usually the, the game could go a little longer. Krasis and Vivian are awesome. Zagana is just like a 4-4. Four -four. Which matches, you know, 4 4s match up well with what our opponent's doing. I think I'm going to try this. We'll, we'll you know, reevaluate, see if Jade Light will be better than Familiar kind of thing. We'll be able to reevaluate after this game. We didn't get to play Bant Vanifar last night. The person that donated for it. I uh, had some other stuff come up, and so they wanted me to move the deck to Monday. So, uh, Van Vanifar is going to be moved to Monday, and we'll check it out then. Hmm. I really don't like mullig mulliganing this kind of hand. I don't think I will. It's obviously not a hand that I necessarily want. But it's not a hand I like to mulligan. You don't like Biogenic Ooze? Ooze is pretty cool. Ooze can do its thing. It's not as good against a bunch of flyers. Crowl Harpooner. Dang. Didn't work. Vivian's a little worse when my opponent knows about it and can play around it. What's up, program? Thanks for getting that tier one sub for the fourth of the month. Welcome to the channel. That's sub number 10 on the day. That means, as y'all know, it will be pack time after this. We'll be cracking open our first pack. And Clumbrew as well with the tier one sub. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. So that's uh, resubbing for the third month. So the question is, um, thoughts on repudiate in the sideboard? I do not feel like repudiate is... Would you draw a very and strong fire? card? And I, I don't think it's one of the best 75 cards you can be playing. I'm not a fan of, of the card. So basically, what it can do is how it counters the triggered ability. The best thing it can counter is the <laughs> Hydroid Crisis worse. triggered ability uh, to not allow the opponent to draw um, extra cards and everything.
but not not too big a fan of the card. What? Just no blocks? Did they just really just do new no blocks? Really? Did that happen? Huh. Hey, what's up, QQ? Oh, pack time, pack time. No, 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 no. No, no match, no match, no match. Cancel. Clutch cancel. Nailed it. All right. Let's get this M19 pack. I think M19 and Rivals are the two sets I've here a little newer that, that I still need uh, rares from. So there are two sets that we're buying our packs from. And I think I need more M19 cards, I think, than Rivals. So we're, let's start with M19. Uh, Panther, you wanted Rivals? Mentor of the Meek. <laughs> Yeah, need is a strong word there. <laughs> yep, just one pack. <laughs> I don't need to buy 30. There's not 30 rares I need left. I'll be just a waste of gems buying 30 packs. We're only around like 10, 10 or less cards needed in in each of the two sets before finishing them out. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? Okay. Need to save my gems for the next set. Memorial to Genius. I don't like seeing that. I don't like seeing that one bit. All right, not holding up Frilled Mystic this turn. Because there's not usually a whole lot for them to do on turn three. I'll, I'll start having Frilled Mystic available on turn four. I would really like to draw another land so I can keep attacking with the Land War Elf because it's like real obvious if I'm just not attacking with Land War Elf kind of thing. Yeah, um, 1v1 game. It's usually uh, ten dollars. Yeah, I think ten dollars for like the one v one game. So I had it like the tier two sub kind of thing. That's pretty good and reasonable there. Uh, I don't play tabletop magic anymore. I used to, but now I'm stay stay at home streamer. I used to play a lot and travel all the time and everything and deal with all that stress. Nice. You have a legacy deck from way back with all the dual lands and everything. Nice. So our opponent needs fog plus sabotage. Which is, of course, it's possible. Us not hitting land drops has been really bad that we can't, you know, be able to double spell or anything. It really hurt us. I'm just going to let it happen. So 
with them getting rid of sabotage earlier, I, I certainly think that they have sabotage there. And so basically my problem is if I if I counter the fog. Yep, they had sabotage. So if I try to counter the fog and they sabotage it, then they get to untap in wilderness reclamation. Unfortunately they were able to wilderness reclamation with like the their land drops and everything and have sabotage. So unfortunately that still didn't work very well for us. And no, if I would have just tried to wait for Nexus, they would have had the three mana still to be able to counter. Anyway. Just them hitting land drops and us not hitting more than a third land drop is has been what's killed us. That and them having every card that they've needed uh, in hand. Yeah, spending an entire card to trigger a to counter a reclamation trigger is not you know, heck of repudiate can counter like one trigger. Spending an entire card for that is not worthwhile. You'd much rather have a disenchant. Is it even possible for them to whiff anymore with double reclamation? Triple reclamation? Hey, Australian American. Glad to have you here. I think one more Nexus and I'm conceding. We'll see if they hit one more Nexus. They had to miss like four Ascanta activations. After already missing, you know, three here. I don't I don't think it is possible. I don't think it's possible for them to whiff anymore. But I just want to see see one more Nexus, then we're done. They did get all of their Wilderness Reclamations pretty early. Which is unfortunate for us. So what do we got here? We got Negates, Canopy, and Lebrontodon. And we're going to hopefully do a better job of hitting our land drops. That's 63. What else do we want to get rid of? Familiar is actually pretty nice here. You know, Familiar speeds up. Growth Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid a ton. Um, JR is good at helping us hit our land drops. I guess I don't need Climb. Yeah, Climb can go. And I think it's a, it says Reclamation should have been legendary. Prove me wrong. Well, Reclamation shouldn't have been printed. 
So saying that should have been legendary, shouldn't have been printed at all. So I guess that's my that's my prove me wrong. Yeah, Krasis isn't wonderful. Krasis is like it can block their Krasis kind of thing. It's it's not great. I I think we can probably trim one. The thing is, is like it is kind of a, a good card as like a clock of like if we you know ramp into it kind of thing and play it early. But yeah, we can trim one crisis. I don't want to like cut them all or anything. Yep, you're right, Colonel. Yeah, cards that give you ludicrous amounts of free mana always end up being a bad idea. Like those cards are never okay. Go, Growth Chamber Guardian, go! We're not looking like we're hitting more land drops than what we did last time. I didn't adapt immediately because I'm a little worried about Into the Royal. I should probably negate that, honestly. Certainly negating that. And yet again, another game of us just getting stuck on lands. How can I be studying for modern when you're playing sweet standard decks? That's a it's a tough call. It's tough. All right, Canopy did its job. We got rid of one Reclamation and one Ascanta. Now we get this Krasis out of here. That'll speed our clock up, too. No, not you. You. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Looking for Frilled Mystic now. Uh, hope they don't have another Reclamation here, but you know, even if they do, they have like one turn with it before we Vivian. Come to me. I should, I should just attack with both first, though, by the way. Well, they... I don't know. You can just not counter the Krasis and just pump the Guardian. I wanted the 3-2 on the battlefield also. But, yeah, maybe I didn't need to do that. Just let them have the 2-2 and make my thing a 4-4. find any interaction we really wanted here. Unfortunately. So they're at six. I'm 
I'm definitely not playing Krasis. I think it's either Landwehr Elf plus Jade Light or like Elf plus Druid. Um, or I guess maybe Druid plus Familiar. Or I could get this 4-4 four, four down. Yeah, I want Jade Light. Help fix my draw for next turn. Good, I, d I don't want to draw either of those cards. I want to look for Negate or Frilled Mystic or Crushing Canopy. You know, kind of look for our sideboard cards. No. Boo. Another chemist's insight. Certainly really rough. At least their biogenic ooze is, is out of here. <laughs> Another insight? Oh, they just have get to draw infinite cards. Kept that card on top. Oh no. They put it in the graveyard as a forest. Oh, four druids, absolutely. Druids are a really powerful card. Uh, Joy, this stuff's not rotating in October. This is going to go on after October. This is going to go on all the way till October 2020. If Reclamation never goes away. Like, these these cards are staying in the format till 2020 with Chemistry's Insight staying, Reclamation staying, Growth Spiral, Expansion Explosion. These are not cards that are rotating. Like, the, the Teamer Reclamation deck that's really good doesn't even need, doesn't play Nexus. I don't think Nexus is really a, a necessary part of the deck. Um, Niv Mizzet staying. Good things is like the the land parts are rotating out as Kanta, Arch of Araska, Memorial the Genius. So those are rotating. So that's good. But they're gonna be getting more cards, you know, like the next few sets they'll just continue to get more cards. Oh yeah, precognit yeah, precognitive perception. That card's pretty busted. That's not that's not a bad idea. Gickman says or not or Don sorry, Don says we could. Upkeep the Growth Chamber Guardian to take one card out of the deck. That's something that's potential that's a potential thing to be doing. Were there cards that Vivian had that we would want to even draw? But we can't get out of this now. Not them having Escanta in two reclamations. So yet again, lost that game because of us getting stuck on mana yet again. Uh, it just took too long uh, for us. We just had to 
spend so many turns of only attacking for two with our 2-2 two -two and not being able to adapt it plus have like our other things and everything. Alright, now we have lands. I like I like lands. All right, Demir mid range is up there. Media says reclamation is going to be even more strong after new cards are released. Yeah, it's it's the kind of card that does get better with increased card pool. Alright, so we got most likely Sultai here. Reaper. I don't think I really want a 2-2 a Hydra Crisis. Let's just kind of sit back with this Frilled Mystic, counter something here, and then untap Vivian and have the Jade Light to be able, be able to protect Vivian. Big question is if I want to trade if they attack with Reaper. They did not. I guess I could attack and put pressure on them. Yeah, might as well. Because I got ooh, no blocks, just none. All right, Vivian, you're gonna take a hit. That's okay. No one knows the wilds like I do. That's okay. Um, because. We're attacking for a lot. Seven is not chump change. Ah! Most wounds can heal. We can move on, commoner. The wilds are my shield. All right, so this match. All right, so they they trade Branchwalker for Frilled Mystic, take four. They take another one with Reaper. The uh, which actually I'm kind of fine with. You know, I really don't mind that we're pressuring our opponent's life total that much. Them keeping Jade Light is kind of interesting. Because it's not contempt. And contempt for Vivian is the thing that I'm most that I would be most concerned about. Finality, of course, resets the battlefield if they have finality. But then that also put them down to four, and we'd have we'd still have Vivian available if they just finality. Here we have Okay, yeah. So keeping the Jade Light was a little odd. So this is a <clears throat> entrancing melody matchup. I know how how I have been boarding against Sultai in general has just been bringing in melody and taking out familiar, but I do actually really like, yeah, taking out one one Zagana, one familiar. I do like familiar, but it needs 
the other cards for it to really go crazy. Did we see any blue mana from them? I'm not sure we did. I kind of feel like they may just be straight up black green. That's not affecting what I'm doing here, but I think they may be straight up black green. We did see blue mana? Okay. All right, another question. How likely do you think an Ether Vial reprint would be? And do you think it would be too good in standard? Yeah, Ether Vial is another, you know, it's one of those cards that can give you a whole lot of free mana kind of thing. I wouldn't say it's very likely to have that printed in standard. I would be real surprised if that would just suddenly be printed in standard, honestly. Whether or not it would be too good for standard, I don't know. There are, of course, a lot of good cards in, in standard already. No blocks. All right, let's play Krasis first to stable, or sorry, Ooze first to stabilize. You know, playing a Vivian here is just sending Vivian out to her death. Basically, it's just not something that I, you know, thinking about that, that's just not something I'm really considering, because basically, thinking about, like, any card, you know, any popular card in Modern and whether or not it could be reprinted in, or whether it could be reprinted in Standard and that kind of stuff is just not, not time that I really care to spend, because there's, you know, hundreds of cards like that, and fact is I don't I don't make those decisions whether or not they'll be in standard I just focus on what what actually is in standard and if, if something gets reprinted in standard then then you know conversations like that are useful but I just don't I don't really see the like what's the point of you know discussing whether or not ether vial should be in standard since we're not working with R&D like maybe you know that's something that R&D can be talking about kind of thing but it's if you're going to spend so much time on that, then it's like, well, let's spend time on, you know, Goblin Guide, and then Dark Confidant, and then Tarmogoyf, and it's just, there's not really any point. I guess that that's the point, is to divert the chat away from the Reclamation chat. There you go. So getting the attack in against Basic Island, the other option is just to throw down the Growth Chamber Guardian and put the Breeding Pool in tapped. Basically countering anything that is part of anything. Like if they <clears throat> if they had you know chart a course or discovery here, I would have been countering that as well. So do I want to pay two life to deal them one damage? Not really. Down to two cards. We're at two cards. Uh. 
even if our opponent has Crackling Drake here, Ooze is uh, worth it to play, I believe. All right, they did not. Sure, I could keep Land of War up so that I could activate Biogenic Ooze if I feel like it. But we don't really need to do that. Feral Mystic is a really strong card. So they had Terramander. If you're playing Terramander, you're usually not playing Phoenix. Usually. Maybe trim one climb instead of all these Jade Lights. This looks pretty reasonable. Oh no, is Melody even that good? Yeah, Melody's good. Yeah, Frilled Mystic is kind of underplayed. I agree. It's... With Soul Tie, if you're playing Frilled Mystic, you, you kind of have to go away from double black spells. Uh, you don't really want to be playing Contempt. It's just so, it's so hard on the mana. And you may want to be a little closer to Incubation Druid. Yeah, we steal a Drake. And the good news is our opponent doesn't have a Drake anymore. The bad news is our Drake is like a 1-4 a kind of thing, right? Like, our, you know, like the Drake's not nearly as good for us. Um, and our Drake's probably not trading with their Drake. You know, it's kind of turns into a chump blocker for their Drakes, which, you know, it's probably not going to be 4 power kind of thing but it's still just you know removal for a drake which i think it's worth it stealing an, an adapt terramander would be the best all right hey cdu i'm thinking about getting back into magic taking after uh have been taking a break for a while but what deck would you recommend starting out with it's a difficult question to answer because everybody likes different things in Magic. People have different play styles uh, and stuff like that. So it's it's kind of difficult to answer. I would recommend just going to the Goldfish uh, metagame page here and just kind of browsing through and seeing what deck that you like and you know kind of what deck you know fits your budget, uh, cart you know cards that you like kind of thing. You know, and everything like that. You can kind of, you know... Magic's the kind of game where you can play whatever you want. Kind of thing, so... That'd be my recommendation. Some decks are harder to play than others, or... And to certain people... Like, certain people play aggro decks better than control decks. Other people play control decks better than aggro decks. Some people like mid-range decks. Some people like combo decks, you know. It's, Like, for me, I would say that Sultai is, like, the best deck, and I'd kind of recommend Sultai kind of thing if, you know, like, really want, like, the best deck winning. But other people, like, I, you know, I have friends and stuff that don't want to play Sultai because they're just kind of, they don't like playing the mid-range decks where the games take really long and, and you know, you have decisions over 10, 20 turns and, um, you know, they don't have, like, they they don't like those kind of games where they feel like they slip mentally after a long time and things like that. I think the arena metagame on there is talking about for uh, best of one. So Krasis is only for three. This is just a really awkward thing. I, I really want all these things to be four. You know, I want, you know, we need Melody for four. We need Krasis for four. 
We just have nothing to do this turn. Just a real awkward turn for us. At least our opponent is thinking Frilled Mystic. And maybe they, you know, play suboptimally because they're trying to play around Frilled Mystic kind of thing. So we played a bunch of Frilled Mystics last turn, last game. They did not play so much around said Frilled Mystic. Alright, gonna yoink this real quick. Yoink. You know, while they while we know they don't have a dive down available. No, they yoinked back. No, this deck would not benefit from Quench, no. Terramander is pretty big. Wow. There's willing to just... That is not a good attack. Trading a Crackling Drake for 3 damage is not a good trade. That was... Not very good. I remember earlier I talked about maybe melodying and an adapted Terramander. Quench isn't necessarily bad per se. You know, everything's kind of you know cards like those are very situational. So, you know, there there may be situations where or a lot of situations where Quench doesn't do what you need it to, but there may be situations where it's good. But the thing is, is you can only fit 60 cards in your deck, and there's not any cards in this deck that are worse than Quench. If there were, I would, I would have Quench in there. Do I want... Yeah. Alright, let's get more mana. Look for Krasis, Vivian. Ooh, that card's pretty nice. If I'm going to Graveyard. That card's good. Hey, what's up, Redgrave? Alright, the double melody. Melody ended up being really good there. They had one Melody, we had two. And we are three and one. How's Grixis Discards match up with Red Deck wins? Not very good. I think that's that could be the worst possible matchup. Um, but... You can, you know, you you can still win some. But it's not too good. I would say I probably, you know, myself playing the deck, I probably win around 40% of the time against red deck wins. But, um, you know, the matchup may not be that good. Uh, but that's just kind of, yeah, my, my experience with it. But, you know. usually have a little, a little bit higher win percentages than normal because of how well I know that deck kind of thing and, and so on. Um, Killacross asks, any plans to do the paper events going, the popper, sorry, the popper events going on? And the answer is no, I actually don't, don't think I'm going to be playing the popper event. Um, yeah, no, no plans to be playing that.
I like those events whenever they have like cool promo cards that you can earn and things like that, but with that entry fee and payout, it's it's not very good, and I'm just going to be sticking to standard. I like the main phasing this opt. It's making me feel like I have a better chance of resolving a Vivian here. This looks like like a Jeskai Phoenix deck or Drake deck or something. I don't know. We get to resolve Vivian. That's what I care about. Let's tear this place. Up. I've seen things that would break someone so Mystic like or you. Ooze. We just don't know what they're going to do on their turn. I'm going to take Mystic. Last time with the Popper deck... I know, I had a Selesnya Popper deck that we had last time, and also just persistent 250 card Persistent Petitioners is like certainly an option. Yeah, it seems like Jeskai Drakes, right? Yeah, the Green White Popper deck was nice. So, like, if you go through my Stream Decker, it's somewhere in my Stream Decker from a long time ago, whenever the other ones were. You'd have to, like, scroll down a bunch, look for, like, you know, a month, two months ago. But there's a... There's a Selesnya Popper you deck somewhere there. Stop nature. Pretty sure with Ravnica Allegiance. Like, I think it's been after Ravnica Allegiance was a thing. Yeah, we want we want to protect Vivian to be able to ult Frilled Mystic. Or sorry, to be, we want to protect Vivian with our Frilled Mystic to be able to ult it. And if I play Growth Chamber Guardian here, so like let's say I play Growth Chamber Guardian, they just use removal spell on my Growth Chamber Guardian, then I have to like be like, oh, do I want to protect it? And I, I don't want to protect Growth Chamber Guardian, I want to protect Vivian. And that's also, then also I need to tap the Land of War Elf. Uh, with this land so that I can have five or so I can have four mana up for frilled mystic if I If I would have you know, let the auto tap just go forest island and play it Then right here they just strike my land war elf And I suddenly don't have frilled mystic available anymore But now if they have like teferi or whatever we can counter it So tapping land war elf is pretty important there All right, that is something that attacks Vivian. Yeah, it would have been before Petitioners. Meet Honestly, my newest this, friend. this may have been before Ravnica Allegiance came out, now that I, I think about it. So unfortunately did not get another Frilled Mystic. Another Frilled Mystic or even Krasis was what I was really looking for. From three months ago. You all found it. So that was probably before Ravnica Allegiance. Then, uh, yeah, because Legion's has been out for three months, right? So that's seven mana. I don't even know if I should be playing Growth Chamber Guardian and reshuffling. I guess there are a bunch of cards on the bottom that I don't really want to draw. 
Maybe I should just be playing Jade Light. Why not play Elf? If my opponent's playing a Sweeper, that means they're not dealing with Vivian. Unless they're playing, like, some kind of Sweeper and Shocking Vivian. Like a Cleansing Nova plus Shock. We still have Vivian on the battlefield, and uh, we'll have a Jade Light plus a Growth Chamber Guardian in our hand. Well, we still had Fake Mystic up with the Incubation Druid in the three lands. But I guess... I. Oh, but we didn't have a card in hand to be able to fake it as Mystic. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we could use that as a bluff kind of thing, but... Alright, so... Pretty sure we win this race. You're not walking out of here. Definitely winning this race now. Alright, so Jeskai Drakes. They're like clar all clar clarioning my stuff and everything. Saw so Justice Strikes and Clarions. If I play Ripjaw Raptor, my card's great against Justice Strike and. Deafening Clarion. Tony Danza. Yeah, we've been playing a bunch of Drakes here. Get rid of the climbs in this matchup with me playing the Ripjaw Raptors. Mm -hmm. All right, so so far, our 12 hour Saturday stream has been going pretty good. Two and a half hours in, 3 2 and 3 1 with our deck so far. Definitely not bad. We got this will be a keep <laughs> why do you win so much with these weird decks I don't know I think I'm pretty good at magic yeah so the the referral go goals on the side those are three of my sponsors uh, whenever we get that many people signing up for their products through my referral links uh, then I'll be doing other 12-hour streams. So, like, we're pretty close to uh, getting four more people to sign up for Quip, which is a really awesome toothbrush. Best toothbrush I've ever owned, ever. Really glad to be sponsored by them. Uh, if you sign up for Quip and get a toothbrush from them through my referral link, you get a free donation deck as well. Uh, so, if you same with Movement. Movement sells watches and sunglasses this is a real nice movement watch this is the their blue and brown um so if you're looking to up your watch game or sunglass game you can go with those as well um and then we have harry's razors so yeah there's info panels on all of those down below
Last few people that, that have signed up for Quip, the notification hasn't come through. There, there should be a notification that if you sign up, if you make a purchase through any of those uh, companies, through the referral link, there should be a notification that pops up on screen. Um, so we get to celebrate that and everything. But the last couple people that have, there has have not been. So please let me know if you do make a purchase and it doesn't pop up. If we had one more mana, I'd be able to play Canopy plus Growth Chamber Guardian. Us drawing Guardian, Guardian, those are like the worst draws in our deck, considering we already have a Guardian in hand. Yep. Exactly, Tharn. Three, three drawn Guardians is a feel bad. So I want to be able to Frilled Mystic. Like another Drake. They're not they're not playing another Drake, so let's see if we destroy this one. Alright, so no dive down. That was something I was a little worried about previously. Um when they played the Enigma Drake, they had a blue mana up. is like kind of bothering me. <clears throat> Nivmiz, it's not something I really prepared for with that crushing canopy. By using that already. All right, Niv Mizzet, huh? That card's pretty busted. So we're basically kind of always behind since I threw out the Jade Light Ranger and got the Jade Light Ranger quenched. That was pretty tough because then my opponent got to resolve Enigma Drake, then I can't be the Drake, and then Niv Mizzet's there. If I just pass the turn, instead of trying to play the Jade Light, I could, uh, you know, potentially if my opponent plays Drake, I could just Frilled Mystic it and still be able to keep the Crushing Canopy around and everything. All right, we're going to game three. Mm. Nothing to do early, so that's not spectacular. It should come up. Or I guess it says unable to determine song. This is a woo. Uh, do I have like a copy paste? No, I'll just type it. Hey, Scamden. Yeah, no worries. No worries, Zareth. Scamden, thank you so much for that sub there. On a two-month streak. That is awesome. Thank you kindly. So having no Land of War Elf or Incubation Druid... Uh, definitely bad for us because we're going to be slower now, which is really good for our opponent who is, you know, having counter spells and everything. So allowing them to be able to have their counter magic here, uh, definitely bad for us. I guess I could have just played one of these lands to be able to have Crushing Canopy up for... 
you know, be able to like play Canopy and untap Ripjaw. Yeah, it's not a good trade for me. Ripjaw for Quench there, not not good for me. I think what Botch is saying with time commitment is just like playing an entire match takes a long time. I think that's what they're saying. Have we we haven't drawn a spell yet, right? Yeah, we kept those four cards and three lands. All right, so divination crisis. No, four. Eat a counter spell plus draw two. Let it resolve. Are they going to Entrancing Melody it? Don't do that. After it resolved, I was thinking it was going to be Justice Strike. We saw multiple Justice Strikes from them. Looks like they got a difficult decision here. I do have Niv Mizzet mana. My decision not as difficult. Hmm. Do we want another JR next turn? I mean, kinda. Better than a random card. It's not our best cards. You know, our best cards are Krasis, Frilled Mystic, Vivian. It'd certainly be better than Llanowar Elf. Yeah, I could certainly see a Wrath here. That's why I didn't really want to play the Druid. There's the Justice Strike. Mm. Yeah, would have rather had that Jade Light. So that Jade Light would have just explored over Elf plus Elf. I might as well just play this elf. Yeah, I should have just played this elf. I should have played this. Now I'm glad we did not play Elf. Could really use another Krasis. Krasis would be great. Your Krasis for 11 right now? That's pretty big. Races for 12. It certainly, they could have had Negate available 
for sure. I didn't really want to get into a crushing canopy fight against Niv Mizzet and let them draw a bunch of cards. Crisis. Crisis. I'll take it. That's a good one. Crisis, Mystic, and Vivian. Best cards. Now Vivian will resolve. Maybe, maybe resolve. They have the card advantage here with, you know, an extra card in hand plus an insight. <laughs> We're just drawing these crappy land war elves now. At least that's the third one. There's only one more to, to draw of our worst non-land card right now. They ditched Dive Down. Oh my gosh. That is bad for us getting another insight. With so many cards. <clears throat> so their other two cards in hand they thought were better than Dive Down. having two for ones all over the place. Can we get a crisis? <laughs> no. Why is it all these land war elves? Why do we have to draw all four of them? Uh Alright, it's the last one. We can't draw a land war elf anymore. Only could give the harpooner haste. Fourteen two. Sure, girl spiral is better. Yes, Gross Spiral is a better card on turn, you know, 15. There's Gross Spiral is better than Land War Elf. I would much rather have Land War Elf in my opening hand by a very, very long ways. That's a good draw. Mm. So this is this is awkward here. Maybe it would have been better for me to play Harpooner first. Because if Harpooner resolves and like everything. No, nah, I'm I'm just gonna go graveyard. I wanted to throw Jade Light out there to test the waters first for a counter for a counter spell. All right, I'm, I'm glad we got rid of the Mystic. Mm 
They kept that card on top. Still want to find another crisis. I'm having Enigma Drake plus double protection. It's a little rough for us. Crisis, please. No. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're just dead. At this point in game. Through half half of our deck, we saw one Krasis and zero Vivians. That was disappointing. Just we were looking good, but then drawing three three Land War Elves late game, real tough. Um. You know, games happen. Those kind of games happen. But I still like Simic Adapt. I like our. Yeah, you know, I like our list and everything. Just those kind of games, what, what just happened, sometimes happen. And, you know, sometimes you don't draw your top end. Because um, even, even like Growth Chamber Guardian was a card we didn't draw that whole time either until the very end, where Growth Chamber Guardian would have been able to adapt and get card advantage available for us and everything. Um, so even Growth Chamber Guardian would have been a good draw. Like, that's another good card advantage engine that, that we couldn't find besides just not drawing Krasis either. And instead just drew all of our Land War Elves. Oh well. Alright, so that's Simic Adapt. 3-2. Still a respectable record. Absolutely. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some Simic Adapt. I'll see you for the next video.